Hey, thanks for joining me today. This is Pastor Lafayette, and uh, what is today? It's Wednesday. We're in Luke chapter 7, and <coughs> Jesus just got finished talking about John the Baptist. We're going to start in verse 29. It says, When all the people heard him, heard Jesus, even the tax collectors justified God, having been baptized with the baptism of John. But the Pharisees and lawyers rejected the will of God for themselves, not having been baptized by him. <clears throat> Interesting. One decision. Didn't t doesn't take much, does it? One decision. Tax, tax collectors justified God. They were baptized by John the Baptist. The Pharisees, the lawyers, meaning those who... Uh, not longer in our terms, but those who heard the law, believed the law, taught the law. The law being the law of God. They rejected the will of God for themselves. Made one decision. One decision, and they rejected the will of God for themselves. You know, that's a tough spot to be in. You and I, I'm sure every day, have opportunities where the Lord is leading us down pathways. If we would simply listen to Him and follow Him, we would be in the perfect will of God. And if we're in the perfect will of God, things do change for us. Uh, what's interesting is that it's the, it's, the, it's the sinners. Jesus is saying the sinners, basically, those who are... Uh, Tax collectors, those who might be even cheats, they repented and were baptized by John. But the Pharisees and lawyers, the ones who, the ones who had an idea of what God wanted, those who should know the Lord or should have some relationship with Him, they rejected the will of God. They couldn't bring themselves to repentance. We have nothing to repent of. Uh, be careful. And probably we should all be careful that we don't become so religiously right that we reject God's will in just submitting and humbling ourselves to Him and before Him. Something in that Listen to it clear, clearly. Verse 31. The Lord said, To what then shall I liken the men of this generation? What are they like? They are like children sitting in the marketplace, calling to one another, saying, We played the flute for you, and you did not dance. We mourned to you, and you did not weep. <coughs> for John the Baptist came neither eating bread nor drinking wine. You say he is a demon. The Son of Man has come eating and drinking, and you say, Look, a glutton and a wine bibber, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is justified by all her children. Now, these are interesting portions of Scripture. To what shall we liken the men of this generation? Setting in the marketplace, calling to one another, saying, We played the flute for you, you did not dance. We mourned to you, you did not weep. You didn't respond like we expected you to. You didn't do what we wanted you to do. You didn't fit our box. John the Baptist shows up. He didn't fit their box. Look at him. He's a guy who lives in the wilderness, eats locust and wild honey, and wears a lowen cloth. He didn't fit their box. Religious people couldn't accept him. Jesus comes along. They call him a wine-bibber and a glutton. Glutton meaning that he eats, overeats. Man, he's a friend of sinners. What kind of guy? He didn't fit their box either. I wonder if Jesus is saying here, what are religious people like? Who fits a religious person's box? And how long before that religious person draws them out of the box and says, you know what, you don't fit my thing. You don't fit my theology. Oh, no, no, we agree in so much. See, these few things over here, we don't agree on, so I'm leaving. I'm out. I'm gone. 
I'm going somewhere else. Somewhere where they preach what I want. And I wonder if those religious people ever find any club that they can fit into, or if they have to just create their own club. Listen to me because I'm preaching to you. I wonder how many of us who are religious and think we're always right end up finding that no one thinks like we do, so therefore no one can be right. We're the only right ones, and maybe we need to start our own thing. Do our own little Bible study. Start our own little home church. Something that we can do. You know, because we're right. No one else thinks like us. My friend, it's not wrong for you to have different opinions. But it's wrong for you to always try and split off just because of your opinions. Find a local body and get committed to it. Quit trying to agree on everything. None of us is going to. You know what? You probably wouldn't agree with Jesus either. It happens. It's happened before. It's happened. It's happening today. It'll happen again. Find a place where you can be a faithful part of a local church body. And do not be a judgmental religious person. Father, help us, Lord, to understand that, Father, we all have different parts and different pieces because we only we understand in different ways. You said we know in part. We don't know at all. Help us, Lord, to contribute our part to other parts so that we can grow and they can grow and your kingdom can grow. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye.